not expect to get a fair trial here in New York City. And so, yes, as Bill said, his legal team is promising to appeal. But the jury clearly believed his accuser. This trial took two weeks. The jury came back after barely three hours. How do you feel? E. Jean Carroll left U.S. District Court shortly after the verdict was announced. The jury awarding her $5 million in damages for sexual battery and defamation at the hands of America's 45th president. She said the episode has haunted her for the better part of three decades. The jury needed to decide whether it happened at all. Render your verdict, the judge told them today, without prejudice, sympathy, or fear. And they reached that verdict in just under three hours. Ms. Carroll claims she was sexually assaulted in a dressing room after a chance encounter with Donald Trump while shopping in Bergdorf Goodman in the mid-1990s. She could not remember exactly when it happened, but she testified here that she remembers how it happened in vivid detail, from Trump's fingers in her vagina to his heavy breathing. Trump has adamantly denied even knowing who Ms. Carroll is, let alone assaulting her. He branded her a liar in social media and made disparaging remarks about her appearance. Trump himself chose not to appear at trial. Unlike a criminal case, jurors were permitted to hold that against the former president. In closing arguments, defense attorney Joe Tacopino offered an explanation. Donald Trump doesn't have a story to tell here other than that it's a lie. Ms. Carroll's team hit back, pointing out that Trump would have had to testify under oath. He just decided not to be here, said attorney Michael Ferrara. He never looked you in the eye and denied raping Miss Carroll. Never did that. She smiled at the jurors as the verdict was read, later saying in a statement, this victory is not just for me, but for every woman who has suffered because she was not believed. Trump posted his reaction in social media in all 